What is up guys, that is here. Welcome to the channel. If you are new in today's video, we're gonna be talking about my opinion of what is the most profitable niche, prof profitable niche for new drop shippers, right? So if you're just getting your feet wet, if you, you know, you've had a few stores, they just haven't had any luck or any sales or just, you know, no traction with them. Um, just overall in general, like if you're relatively new to the space or new to the industry or just haven't had a store you know, like kick off yet and like you maybe you haven't made your first 10,000 or 5,000 or 1,000 yet, right? It's like, where, where, where do you, where do you want to begin? Where do you start? Okay. Now, I'm, I'm really just going to jump right into this guys. Um, it's fashion, right? What I do with most of my stores revolves around the fashion industry, okay? I'm not gonna reveal any of like my own specific product. I mean like why, like if you guys were in my position too, you wouldn't reveal the exact product. Bro, come on! Okay, but I'm gonna show you guys um, a few, you know, industries that, that are very lucrative right now that I have products revolving around, if that kind of makes sense. But um, just to like hop into it, right? if, if you're new, um, and you just haven't had traction yet, no sales, like, or maybe, you know, you had a couple sales, but you just, like, can't scale, or you just, like, don't think that your product, your niche is profitable for the long run, or even for the next few months, right? Then it's you know, a, good time, a good time to, like, step back, analyze the situation, analyze, you know, the market, right? Because, again, guys, with dropshipping and whatnot, it's very easy to get into. Um, it's very easy to make money once you kind of understand the process of it, but understanding the process of it is, is <laughs> the hardest part of dropshipping, okay? So... What do you need to do? First of all, a lot of people, right? You guys, you guys DM. I get like like 50, 100 DMs a day. It's it's ridiculous, but um, it's awesome. I love it. But a lot of you guys like tell me, you know, your 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 websites, your niches, and what I notice is that a lot of you guys tie in exactly what you are doing personally or what you enjoy doing personally, um, and then you sell it, right? Which like there's nothing technically wrong with that, and you can make money selling things that you enjoy, right? Like I've had someone recently message me. They were selling like fish bait, um, like fish hooks, like fish just fishing like equipment, right? Um, and they were trying to mainly do it through Instagram and their influencers were a little whack and stuff like that But basically guys, it's like a lot of you guys are are judging what you should sell based on what you enjoy personally and Kind of the, the way that I think about things right is you, I take a step back. Okay, so I'm back here and Basically, it's saying you, you got to let the market talk to you instead of you telling the market. Hey, I'm gonna sell this I'm gonna put my product that I like in front of this person's face and try and make them buy it, right? Like, like, what you want to do is like, like, step back, let the market tell you, like, like, analyze trends, see what's trending right now in the current state of things, right? Because trends come and go, guys. What's trending now for the next three months could be dead three months later, okay? See so what I'm saying? Like, fidget spinners, for example, that was huge. But like, you you can look at industries you're interested in, guys. For example, you know, um, me personally is fashion. Like, what's what's trending? What what's hot? What's you know what's what's profitable right now? And guys, like, this is again, like. The most profitable niche for new dropshippers, it's, it's really with fashion guys and clothing, the margins are super, super flexible and good. Okay? Hold on, I'm about to sneeze. <coughs> Your margins are really good in the fashion industry. Okay, why? For example, right? And this goes with anything, not even dropshippers. If you just look at these luxury brands in the apparel and the fashion industry, right? They can, you can make t shirts like this t shirt, right? Probably costs a dollar. All right? I probably bought this for like 18 bucks or something, right? Do you, do you guys like understand? Like, especially with fashion, it's the margins. Are through the roof okay you can find bracelets on Aliexpress that only cost you two dollars and then with e packet maybe four thirty okay like four dollars and thirty cents you can sell that for twelve dollars fifteen dollars again again don't just throw that up there and expect people to buy guys like the prices that I'm listing also depend on how you're positioning your brand okay because then if you guys know the funnel that I talk about I preach it like all my videos guys have trying to get it in your head but literally guys um, it's 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 content driven brand driven like funnel okay what that means is that you have to position your brand as like an authoritative figure in the space where you have to have unique content and what i mean by unique content because some of you guys just didn't understand that is like unique content like photos okay you need to take your own photos or get unique photos like unique means like no one else has it okay so if you have unique photos like you take your own photos or you get like other photographers to take photos of your product which means you have the only like photo of that ever to ever have been taken, right? So if you have unique content and you're posting it, people are seeing that, your brand already looks more unique, right? Unique, different, like away from everything, like itself, right? Um, you look more genuine, look more authentic, and then you're allowed to, you have like complete flexibility of how your brand looks, right? If all the imagery you're using is supplier imagery and like this pixelated crap that like, again, you can make sales from it. Like I did when I first started, I didn't know what I was doing, but you can like, you, you have complete control over your entire brand once you have your own content because you can control everything else, right? You control your website, you can edit your website, you can control, you know, where you're marketing, what you're saying in the marketing, but a lot of you guys, like, you have control over that stuff, but then when it comes to imagery, 
you're just taking what's there already, which means you immediately just lose a lot of control because especially with Instagram guys and how the funnel works and how we teach in the Ecom Hub and all like the free mini courses down below, always plug, but how we teach that guys is like, you need to have control of everything, okay? There's a reason Apple is not on social media, right? And what I mean by that is like, you don't see them posting and, and getting engagement. I'm sorry, like, like starting conversations on social media, right? I'm serious, you can look around, there's a reason Apple doesn't do that and they are the most expensive brand. Like their brand is worth the most in the entire world, okay? There's a reason they do that because Apple, Again, this is Apple and they're completely separate from everyone else, but they like they love complete control of their entire brand image, okay? And that's what I like to do with my drop shooters. Like I want complete control over the entire thing, okay? I don't care if I can control my website, my marketing, all that stuff, but then if I have to reuse someone else's picture, someone else's content, immediately the quality goes down. Immediately just you lose kind of how you want to position your brand, okay? And I know that's kind of like a tangent from just what's the most profitable for drop shipping, but guys. I'm telling you, like, fashion for me was very, very profitable just because your margins are ridiculous, especially, especially if you can position your brand in a way that makes you feel more luxury. You look, you know, a lot more quality than these other dropshipping brands. And, like, how do you do that? Again, content is king, guys, okay? Especially if you're starting off with Instagram and stuff like that, you use these influencers. You drive, you know, traffic through content. Again, if you want to position yourself as luxury so that you can sell bracelets more expensive, you can sell clothing more expensive, you can sell products more expensive, you're not, you know, buying shoutouts to give out 50% discounts, 25% discounts, that doesn't work, guys. Okay, you don't see Gucci or Louis Vuitton doing buy one, get one free or 50% off, right? They don't they do not do that because that's not their brand, okay? They're gonna lose brand credibility if they do that, okay? You have to treat your dropshipping store as a brand because that's what it is, okay? It's not just a reselling site when like, technically it is, but if you wanna like actually communicate and gain the trust of your clients, of your audience that visits your sites, and actually have it be like a unique, genuine, you know, company that makes really good money, then you need to be unique, okay, right? That's the thing, okay? And now actually like, now talking about like products stuff like that, I already told you guys like the niche, hey, fashion in general, um, but going into products like dad caps guys are really good, you know, like literally <laughs> hats, okay? Those sell, um, you, if you can like literally guys, anything in fashion industry sells, hats, bracelets um rings are okay just like you have to play with a lot of different sizes and sometimes it's just weird um necklaces shades sometimes do well um again it's just it's, just, it's really like how you position yourself and me personally when i was selecting product right i wouldn't pick products that were like ripoffs of legit brands right i wouldn't pick like a, a shade that was literally like a, a fake gucci like like sunglass right i wouldn't do that i would pick you know shades that that they weren't like iconic in the sense that like, oh, everyone's gonna think it's Gucci, so they buy it, they're gonna think my brand's like a ripoff, right? Again, if you're positioning yourself as a unique brand, then you have to it's like factor in, okay, my products need to look unique. They can't just like look like another brand's thing, like exact, like an exact replica, guys. They can have like similar style, but just not like exact replicas, because one, you, you risk the ability of getting sued by like, literally taking um, products that <laughs> are another brand. Um, that's the point, guys, but literally, guys, like just to cut to the chase, right? Most profitable is drop shipping. For me, fashion, I know a lot of people really do well in car parts and women's accessories, okay? So those are two additional things that you can keep in mind if you don't wanna do fashion or something like that, because something against fashion. Uh -huh. I mean, that, that's literally it, guys. Um, for me, what did really well, especially when I first started, was bracelets. Bracelets like killed it for me, and um, it was just a matter of learning to get that initial traction, those initial traffic to your store. Once you get the traffic, again, guys, you have the Facebook pixel on your site. You can scale with Facebook ads, and then start to see, you know, um, five thousand dollar days, right? If you've watched my previous videos, you've seen me show you guys, like, hey, it's really easy or possible at least to make, you know, five thousand a day, ten thousand in a day, eight thousand in a day, like. It's possible, guys. Money is everywhere. Okay, it's just a matter of figuring out how to market. And that's the thing with dropshipping. A lot of people hop into it. They just don't know how to market. Okay, you, you're watching this. You might not know how to market. That might be why you're watching this. I'm trying to help you guys understand. Like, okay, your website, everything else can be in place. But if you don't have, you know, the content down um, and and just the marketing funnel and the flow of it down, you're not going to get traction, guys. You're not going to get sales or as many sales as you could. Okay, you can get so much more conversions if you have control of kind of everything in the funnel and you actually tweak it and make it good, make it quality, make it unique, make it genuine, okay guys? So that's the video, my camera's literally about to die, it's flashing red, leave a like, comment, I respond to everybody's comments, don't forget to subscribe, I will see you guys in the next video, take care guys, peace! Thanks for watching guys, be sure to subscribe, like, and comment, check out the Ecom Hub, my personal platform which covers literally everything e-commerce related from the mastery course to free pdfs and mini courses and last but not least don't forget to check out my social media and follow me for updates giveaways and literally everything that's cool